Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Coming from the archaeological site of the Incas in Ollantaytambo that was featured on my previous travel vlog trip, I took a train ride from the city's train station, El Albergue. It is the only one train stop 40 kilometers away to my next destination. So come and join me explore the most wonderful spot in Peru, the Machu Picchu. And together, let's find out the reasons why this site was declared one of the new seven wonders of the world. After more than an hour trip, I arrived at the Aguas Calientes, also known as the Machu Picchu Pueblo, which is the small town at the base of Machu Picchu. It is where most travelers will end up spending at least one night before heading out to the Machu Picchu hike the following morning.
This was also where full of hotels, hostels, souvenir shops, tour agencies, and all varieties of restaurants are located. There are also drug stores, clothing shops, street vendors, and several other establishments. I was just so amazed seeing the great views everywhere from the town and from my hotel and looking at the wonderful people living a simple life in this small town. I just couldn't wait any longer guys so an hour before it closes at 6 in the evening I headed to my most and my dream destination spot in Peru finally after 20 to 25 minutes ride because of its zigzag and bumpy road I reached the spectacular marvelous jaw-dropping and uh, I'm lost for words to describe Machu Picchu have you ever wondered the meaning of Machu Picchu it is a modern day it is considered as a sanctuary, a resting place and a pilgrimage destination among many other functions. People from all over the world visit this place. Many, in fact, come to Peru primarily for this purpose, like me.
Despite the 550 years of wear and tear, the ruins seem virtually untouched. It's quite a feat considering that the city was built without the use of animals and that the bricks are not held together without any mortar. It's about to close now so I have to go back to the town for my dinner. Bye for now, the most breathtaking view I've ever been. Lovely Machu Picchu. It's already 4.30 and the last bus going to the town is at 5 or 5.30 but it's still gonna be a long way. And definitely I will see you again tomorrow for the biggest hike of my life. to wake up early in the morning to go back to Machu Picchu and start the hike to Montaña where I took the second batch to climb the mountain. This has long been one of the South America's favorite tourist destinations for many reasons. My actual challenge didn't end just by walking and discovering Machu Picchu but the actual real challenge ahead of me today was to go for the hike to the Montaña Machu Picchu or the Machu Picchu Mountain. Since only 400 people are allowed to climb the highest mountain in Machu Picchu per day, I bought the ticket in advance to do the hike. As the trail goes to the mountain, the steps become steeper, narrower, and more challenging. Even though my legs were screamingly in pain, I still pushed myself to continue climbing. Everybody seems to be catching their breaths just to see this excruciating view of Machu Picchu. But giving up is not my thing, so when I saw another stretch of steeper and steeper stone steps in front of me, I pushed myself to continue and yeah, I made it to the top and I'm very glad I did. Finally, I reached at the summit of Montaña for almost two hours. And it was the birthday treat for myself since I went there three days after my birthday. about 650 meters to ascend to the summit no elevators cable cars nor any vehicles to reach to the top it is important to make sure your health is taken care of 
if you're planning for this height. The air is thin and you will notice the difference no matter how fit you are. But surprisingly being unfit as I am, I didn't have a sort of neither an altitude sickness nor a slight headache. Any trip to the citadel of Machu Picchu is not complete without climbing one of the neighboring mountain valleys and snow-capped peaks, getting another perspective of the iconic Inca ruins and the Aguas Calientes where I was spending my nights there. I just couldn't believe I was at the tallest mountain around. After a while of resting, it's time to go down. And just like that, the climb to Montana Mountain became the highlight of my trip in the legendary and my dream destination in South America. It was a perfect sunny day in May. Now it's time to play with the llamas while resting. Do you want to know something cool, guys? I bet you didn't know that if you irritate this picture... We are so fortunate to live in a small world with so many cultures, so much beauty, and so much diversity. The world belongs to no one but God, and it's up to us on how we can discover God's creation and see the magnificent destinations. I hope this video can somehow inspire you to achieve whatever dreams you want to achieve like me. Being employed as a flight attendant gives me the privilege to travel some parts of the world at a discounted cost. For those of you who are dreaming of this destination too, or you might not have time, you're young or not privileged or don't have enough money yet, maybe not healthy right now, or maybe just scared to travel or waiting for someone to be with to see the world. I hope this video that I just shared with you will inspire you to dream big like me. Thank you for watching guys and see you on my next travel episode. Bye!